Hello students, I am Dr. Chandrajit, faculty in the Department of Computer Science, MIT First Grade College. I welcome you all to the introductory session on the subject Computer Concepts and C Programming. This subject belongs to first semester BCA and has got six credits. The credit is divided into following pattern. L four credits which means lecture, four credits and one credit of lecture is equal to one hour that is four hours of lecture in a week and two credits of practical means two multiplied by two hours that is four hours of lab sessions in a week. Now let us see the syllabus structure. The syllabus is divided into four units. In unit one you will be introduced to the fundamental of programming in which you will learn the program development life cycle and you will be introduced to the concepts of C programming in which you will learn operators, data types, variables, the tokens which is nothing but the building blocks of C programming etc. In unit 2 you will learn how to communicate by using the input output statements and you will be introduced to the program control flow structure which is nothing but the decision making and looping statements. Also you will be introduced to the jump statements. Next in unit 3 you will be introduced to arrays, strings and functions. Arrays and strings are called as derived data types and functions is the most important part of the C programming language which helps you to achieve structured oriented programming which is also called as top down approach. Functions helps you to break down a big problem into smaller sub problem. So this is the most important part in the C programming language. In unit 4 you will learn pointers, structures, unions and file handling. Pointer is a derived data type which helps you to work with memory. Structures and unions are user defined data types which is also called as complex data types and file handling will help you to store data permanently in the disk and you will be introduced to how input output operations is performed on a file. So this is all about your four parts of the syllabus. Now let us see the reference books for this subject. For this subject you have two wonderful books suggested by the uh, Mysore University syllabus. The first book is Programming in ANSI C by Bal Guru Swami. And the next book is C Programming by M.P. 
soma shaker also i would recommend one more book let us see by yashwant kanikar if you want to study any of the subject students i recommend you to buy one among this book and keep it in your home for studies next we will see the question paper packet your question paper consists of two parts part a and part b part a is two marks questions which is nothing but objective type in nature so there will be 12 questions out of that you have to answer 10 so totaling to 20 marks in part b descriptive choice list questions having each main of 15 marks total into 60 marks and each main has got its own internal choice like 1a 1b or 1c or 1d your total question paper totals to 80 marks students the subject is for total of 180 marks so 80 marks you will be writing theory theoretical exam and 20 marks will be evaluated for your internal assessment which is based upon your test performance preparatory performance assignments seminars etc and another 80 marks is for your lab examination in which you have to write two programs each program carries 30 marks out of these two program one program you have to execute and then your lab record will be evaluated for 10 marks and another 10 marks is based on your performance in the viva course so this is all about your introduction to the subject i introduce you to the syllabus as well as the question paper pattern now i will tell you the objective of this subject the main objective of this computer concepts and c programming is to introduce you to the programming development or program development and it introduces you to the structured oriented programming language called c which will help you to build softwares which can be either application software or a system software thank you